We've only had one Legends EA trailer so far, but I feel like there's a little bit more in that trailer that they kind of revealed as to like how the gameplay mechanics are going to be in this game, like what features are going to be in Legends EA. So obviously we've had one Legends game so far, Legends Arceus or Arceus. If you guys don't mind leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment down below, let me know how you feel about Legends EA and let me know one feature that you really want to see in the game. It really goes a long way and I really, really appreciate it. So right away, it seems like we are going to be able to walk with our Pokemon, which has been in Pokemon games in the past and everything. And in Scarlet and Violet, you're able to like open up all of your Pokemon and deploy them all at once, but they couldn't all follow you. It almost seems like in this trailer, there's somebody walking in the background and it almost seems as if they're walking with several Pokemon. So some people say you're going to be able to walk with your entire team of six Pokemon or just one. I feel like just one would be great. It'd be cool to have all six, but at the same time, I don't know how logical that would be because i feel like that would get really cramped you know what i mean like having six pokemon especially if you're if you have a team of bigger pokemon you'd have six ginormous pokemon on the screen at one time that might get a little hefty you know it might get like in the way of your pov and everything but it would be a cool feature to have like i don't know how exactly that would work i definitely want to have a feature where one pokemon follows you around like wherever you go like no matter what like that's awesome i love that I personally don't feel the need for six, but it would be kind of cool to have at the same time. So we're definitely going to have the same like battle mechanics, the same throwing your Pokeball mechanics, crafting mechanics, collecting materials and all that. Boss fights are probably going to be relatively the same. Obviously different Pokemon, I'm assuming like different, different like more specific to Legends EA like of a battle, I guess if that makes sense. It's not going to be just a copy and paste, but I feel like we're still going to get boss fights. We're still going to have to craft Pokeballs. We're definitely going to get materials around the map and everything like that to craft other stuff. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get unique Pokeballs too, Legend ZA. We're definitely going to get fast travel and everything in this game. Fast travel in the last couple of Pokemon games have actually been like more convenient, I guess, so like or like easy to get if that makes sense. Like in Scarlet and Violet, I'm pretty sure you just had to visit a Pokestop and then you could travel there anytime you want. In Legends Arceus or Arceus, you had to like unlock these little campsites and then you could fast travel them whenever you want. I'm also hoping that we're going to get the shiny charm sound because in Legends Arceus, if a shiny Pokemon appeared, there'd be a shiny sound effect so you'd know there's a shiny around. In Scarlet and Violet, there was no audio sound, but obviously you could still see the 3D rendering of the Pokemon if it's a shiny or not. I'm assuming that's going to be the exact same. We're definitely going to see if the Pokemon is shiny or not. I guess we'll see if the Legends series gives us the shiny like noise. I, I don't want to say shiny charm because that's an item, so a shiny like noise, that, that would be great. So as far as like the wilderness goes with wild Pokemon, I feel like that's not directly clear in this first trailer, but I feel like it's almost there. So on the map, on the trailer, there are several like big circles and you know, a lot of people online, including myself, believe that this could be little areas of wilderness for wild Pokemon because the game's going to be taking place in Lumio City. Like that's confirmed 100%. It'll be in Lumio City, but the scale will be completely different. So in most Pokemon games that we've played, the cities are really tiny, it's a couple of buildings, but we get the idea that it's supposed to be like a huge city, but because the scale has to be way smaller, but if this game takes place only in Lumio City, the scale of everything is going to be huge, so those circles are probably going to be massive. I definitely think that there's going to be some sort of outside of the city map, like I feel like we're going to be able to leave the map outside of the city somehow and go to some wilderness, like I know there were some rumors early on that people said underground tunnels will take you to the outside world. I really hope so. I really hope the entire game doesn't take place in Lumio City, but even if it does, I feel like they're going to give us some sort of like workaround to where we're not just, just in the city the whole time. I think the underground tunnels will definitely take place a lot in the storyline though, like I think with Zygarde and everything like that. I feel like we're definitely going to be going underground a lot, especially because Paris has a lot of underground tunnels and the Kalos region is based off of Paris. So I think that would really make sense and I really hope so because I think that'd be pretty cool as well. So it seems like the game's gonna either start off at the beginning of Lumio City, or it's a reconstruction of the Lumio City. So here's a little theory. So maybe the beginning of the game is a different Lumio City, and then maybe like extremely, extremely early on in the game, we learn about some sort of devastation that like caused the entire city to be destroyed, or maybe with the discovery of mega evolutions, they need some sort of new power, or some sort of thing to emit power or something and they have to completely reconstruct it because in the trailer it says reconstruction of Lumio City or something like that or redevelopment plan something along those lines so maybe the beginning of the game is just a cutscene where the old Lumio City gets completely destroyed and then we're we spawn in right there where it's pretty much destroyed and we quickly 
go on with the growth and redevelopment of Lumio City and they make it bigger and better. I feel like that's kind of more so around the realm of what's actually going to happen. A lot of people think that it's going to be taking place in the past and future, and that's actually what I thought too, but after looking at the trailer more, I don't think that the future is going to be a part of this game. Like, yeah, maybe we'll get like visions or glimpses into the future or something like that. I don't think we're going to be playing the game in the future though. I really think this is going to be just like how Legends Arceus was or Legends Arceus, how it was based in the past. I really do think that this game is going to take place in the past. Obviously not as far back as Legends Arceus because that game I'm pretty sure is like the earliest in the storyline as far as Pokemon main lines go. But definitely there's got to be some sort of reason like why the city is being redeveloped because in the trailer it's being redeveloped and obviously it's heavily inspired by blueprints in the trailer just like a map and a blueprint so it's obvious that there's going to be a lot of construction and between the beginning of the game, there is for sure going to be a lot of redevelopment and like new buildings popping up, like buildings that'll be there at the end of the game that were not there at the beginning of the game, if that makes sense. I would also expect a little bit darker of a storyline, like obviously not too dark, they're not going to make this game like horrifying or terrifying, you know what I mean? But Legends Arceus had a more serious tone to it, especially compared to like Scarlet and Violet. The tone in, in the game took itself a little more seriously. So with that being said, I feel like Legends Zygarde is definitely going to take inspiration from that, obviously because it's a Legends game, and maybe they're going to make the Legends series a little bit more for a couple years older, because Pokemon games are, you know, in all honesty, they're made for the younger generation, even though probably most of their sales come from older people. Like, you know, I am not a teen anymore, and I'm still going to buy probably every single Pokemon game that comes out, at least mainline Pokemon games, not the side games. I definitely expect a little more serious tone of a storyline. I'm sure we're going to have the typical, like, close friend or a mentor that's going to follow us around and help us with our journey and everything that we're going to report back to. Definitely something like that. We had one of those in Legends Arceus, and we always usually have some sort of, like, friend that is kind of like our challenge, but it's like a friendly challenge. We always, of course, have an enemy, so definitely expect some sort of enemy or rival team so one of the biggest things that i really think is going to be in this game and that might change it a little bit but i'm not 100 percent on although because it is the Kalos region so you never know but i really think we're going to get the ability to dive and i really think that underwater is hopefully going to be a cool good big feature in this game so maybe there's going to be some sort of ravine that leads out into the ocean we could take that ravine go in the ocean and maybe that's how we also get to like some of the different wilderness areas just having a bigger and better sense of exploration and all of that but in the trailer there are a bunch of star you underwater what looks like in a, some sort of ravine in the city so since they're underwater that may suggest that we're gonna need to get them up out of the water so maybe it's fishing maybe it's a different type of pokeball that like goes underwater and stuff like that or maybe you can dive underwater and you could just catch them like that because in legends arceus you were able to on i think the name pokemon's name was like baskaludon or something there are, there's like a thousand pokemon if i if i get one wrong don't roast me in the comments please but you were able to actually throw Pokeballs while riding him on the water. So let's just say we can get the ability dive in this game, and maybe it's going to be a different Pokemon or with the Pokemon that we use to ride on regular water, which, speaking of that, I guess another feature you should expect is going to be, like, the riding Pokemon. I think that's going to be the exact same way as Legends Arceus. Definitely different Pokemon. I don't think it's going to be the same Pokemon from Legends Arceus, but definitely the same concept where we have different Pokemon to do different things, to fly on, climb up mountains, whatever. So, let's just say, for example, there's Pokemon underwater. It would be so cool if we can get the feature Dive. We haven't had Dive in a while. And like, Scarlet and Violet did not have it. Legends Arceus didn't have it. And I think it's been a long time, and I think that'd be a really cool feature to bring back into the Pokemon games because it also gives it a little bit of a different vibe than Legends Arceus. Even though Legends Arceus was definitely the perfect game for that. That would have been amazing to have that in Legends Arceus. I just think it'd be so cool to travel and explore underwater. But let me know what you guys think. I definitely could think of more, so maybe I'll do a part two to this video. Let me know if you guys want to see a Legend ZA though. I think there are really endless possibilities of what there really could be because they're definitely going to want to make it different than Legends Arceus. So they're going to want to have new features, you know, new abilities, obviously new like regional variants and everything like that. And I, I think they're going to definitely want to take what they had in Legends Arceus and really emphasize it or make it better just you know that's that's how things go you know you make one thing a couple years later you make it better the same thing but better so those are just a couple things that i really think we're going to see in legends za make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and comment down below guys i'll see you in the next one peace